And we're continuing the um, the coverage of the Art Love Gallery. Big gallery, our friend Jackie Fuchs. And now we made a new friend with Tyson Knight. Tyson Knight got a superhero name, and we're gonna say that because, look, see, I said that for a reason. Superhero name, superhero yeah. stuff. But let's talk about the artwork okay. first. Hey, Tyson, how are you, man? How you doing, man? How you guys doing it's out good, there? It's good, good to meet you. So talk to me about the artwork. Um, let's start with this one. Okay, so. I've, um, I, I love Grant Wood. He's the artist that originally did the American Gothic. And um, I'm a street artist. I do a lot of wall murals. But when I was a child, my parents put me into private art lessons to learn fine art. So I'm, I'm skilled in fine art. So I took the both styles together and called it a masterpiece mashup. Ah. So if you look, she's more refined, you know, realism. Yep, yep. Then he's more of the street art. Oh yeah, the yeah. Stencil, the Banksy type style, you know. So yep. and I thought I just wanted to play on it, the juxtaposition to playing on, you know, that piece and really honoring it in a, in, a, in, a, in a clever way. Not, you know, remaking it, but not just trying to remake it to look identically like the original, but to give it a little twist and pay homage to it. So mm -hmm, that was mm -hmm. my Fentanyl is whack for sure, we know that. <laughs> So, you know, uh, Keith Haring, you know, he was such a prolific artist. Um, and, you know, back when he, a lot of uh, political statements in his artwork, you know, and, and back then it was 1986, it was crack is whack. So I wanted to pay homage to Keith Haring, but I wanted to, you know, bring him to modern times where we're dealing with the pandemic, another different drug pandemic, which is fentanyl. So I wanted to touch on that topic of fentanyl. I thought it's important to do that. So I, I sped it up to 2023, still putting Keith Haring's essence in it. But it's fit and all this whack now. Mm -hmm. NYC 2000. But now let's talk about the fun stuff. Yes. I'm a big comic book fan, big yes. superhero fan. Been yes. going to Comic Con for about 12 years. Yes. Uh, been reading comic books for yes. close to 40 something years. So, yeah. Just as long as me. Yeah. <laughs> So you got Batman and Wonder Woman here? So I got Batman, Wonder Woman. You know, when I, this is one of the um, um, things um, that in my childhood that gave me the idea to draw. I mean, because this is the only thing really, you know, back then. I mean, I grew up in the, you know, the early 90s. So back then we didn't have the internet or, you know, um, YouTube or anything to look at, right? So the closest thing I got to art was seeing comic books. Yeah, yeah. You know, right? So. This and reruns of and, the Batman and, and Wonder exactly, Woman show. Exactly, exactly. So I said, hmm, I had my school book paper there. I said, let me, you know, took my pencils out. I said, let me see if I can recreate these characters. And um, I was just really obsessed with comic books and baseball cards. So I would do the same thing with my baseball cards. I would find the best players. I would duplicate on each side. I would, I would put the player on one side and I'll flip the paper over and do all the stats on the other. So I even went so far as to write to a comic book company and try to give them different characters and come up with new characters. That's how much I was into as a child. Um, but, you know, so now before we go on to this other piece, mm -hmm. let's go to the mashup of all yeah. of the characters. So yeah. this is a cool one. A little bit of Superman, a little bit of Wonder Woman, a little bit of Batman. Yes. The so, Trinity, we call yes. this in the comic books. If yes. you are a geek, you know exactly you're nodding that we absolutely, say that. Yes, and I'm see? definitely a geek at heart when it comes to superheroes and comic books. So, but no, no Marvel stuff, I'm wondering. Why no Marvel stuff? I do stuff? have Marvel. I have Marvel. I just didn't bring it for this show. I had, um, I had a, a Black Panther, a Black Panther and Storm mashup that was in my Palm Springs uh, exhibition. So, I just didn't bring that one for this exhibition. So, I brought this one, right? So, Justice League, right? Yep, so, Justice League. This is really, this is really um, an important piece to me because this was done during the pandemic when everybody was at home. So I came up with this really cool idea. You know, I, I, I went with the inspiration of artists I'm inspired by, Pete Madrion, Andy Warhol, and Roy Lechenstein. So all of their essence is in this, this, this painting on top of mashing it together with the comic book style. So if you look, you have that, that man here, back here is that the, the famous wall of uh, uh, Warhol flowers. Excuse me. Oh, okay. Right? Here, Lechenstein style. With the dots. The dots. Now here's Superman, Pete Mondrian style. Right? Look at that. So I think I mean, that's the masterpiece mashup. That's where it really started the masterpiece mashup with this piece right here. That's a really interesting piece. Now, what's this last one? This is just a, a, a Frida Kahlo, who was a, an amazing Mexican artist. I just wanted to showcase realism against street art. So I did the juxtaposition where one side of her face is very detailed, you know. And then the other side is more of the, the street art, you know, stencil, Banksy type of style, right? 
then you got the parrot there, right? You got the parrot. So then you have the one earring that's has a little bit of bling bling, right? Then you have the one that matches the stencil. On top, you see the rose that's in her hair. The middle part of the rose is the more of the realism. And then we get into more of the street art. And I thought it would be cool just to put really beautiful colors around you know, her. So I just thought it was a really good idea. I had did this actual, um, the street art style of Frida Kahlo, downtown Palm Springs for a project I did with the city that people just love. So I thought, let me take that and just remix it and, and make it something like pop urban art, a mixture of fine art and street art. That's really cool. <laughs> well, thanks for talking to me, Tyson. I appreciate it. I'll talk yeah. to you next time. All right, man, that's me. We'll see you next time from the art show. So that's going to bring us to the end of talking to Tyson, who was awesome, my friends, awesome. Tyson, thank you so much for uh, talking to me today. We appreciate you. And hey, listen, you know how it works, my friends. You're going to subscribe to the channel. You're yes. going to click the notification yes. bell. And then you are going to like and leave a comment on the video if you yes. have something topical to add to the mix. And that's it from uh, Art Expo. It's Ken Pierce, Pierce and Ken Channel. See you next time. Yes. Bye.